Okay, good day. Our topic is about portal method assumptions. So, there are three assumptions. Number one, point of inflection at the center of each girder. So, if we have here beam, yung center niyan, okay, yung pinaka-center, dyan nagkakaroon ng point of inflection. Number two, the point of inflection at the center of each column. So, ito yung pose natin. Okay, this one is the point of inflection. Number three, the total shear on each story is divided between the columns of the story so that each interior columns carries twice as much shear as each exterior column. Anong ibig sabihin na to? If we have here column and then to column ulit and then dito sa interior we still have column. Dito daw sa interior natin we have twice column. How about dito sa exterior natin? Sa exterior, we only have single shear and then single shear. So, paano yung calculations nito? I'm giving you some example for your portal method. So, example tayo ng portal method. So, ito, imagine this is bungalow. So, this is single story building. So, we have 4 meters, 4 meters, and then also the height is 4 meters. And we have the horizontal base, or horizontal shear or force to be 20 kN. So, ano yung gagawin natin? When we say portal method kasi, this is approximate value for your analysis of structural. We have four steps or rather we say five steps kasi on cantilever method, we have five. Pero dito, we only have four steps. So, what are those steps? Number one, we have to de determine first the column shear. Column shear. Second step, Okay, steps to ha. Lagyan natin dyan. We have to know the column moment. So, after makuha natin yung column moment, step number 3 naman, punta naman tayo sa girder moment. Ayan. And last, of course, step 4, we have ayan, girder shear or beam shear. Ayan. So, ano yung first na gagawin natin? Siyempre, kukunin natin si column shear. Diba so, sa assumptions natin, yung load of horizontal is i-divide natin dito. So, paano yun? May mga shear tayo. Sabi ko kanina, we have here single shear, twice ng shear, and then shear. So, i-add lang natin. 2 plus 1 plus 1, we have 4 shear. Ilan ang load natin? Horizontal, 20. So, divided by 4. Divided by 4, this is in terms of kilonewton. So, therefore, our shear is 20 divided by 4 is 5 kilonewton. So, dito, ibig sabihin 5 kilonewton. Ano naman yung twice ng shear? Kapag ang twice ng shear, dodoblihin lang natin to. So, we have 10 kilonewton. So, ilagay natin dyan, 10 kilonewton and this is also 5 kilonewton. So, natapos na tayo sa shear natin. So, paano ilagay yung shear? Dito lang. Ganyan yung itsura ng shear natin. Next, after uh, makuha yung shear, punta naman tayo ng column moment. So, paano yung column moment? So, yung rotation natin is papunta dyan, counter. Ano po? Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin, this is 4 meters. So, kunin lang natin yung kalahati ng height ng column natin, which is 2 meters. So, ilagay natin dito. 2 meters. So, 5 times 2 is 10 kilonewton meter kasi moment yan 10 kilonewton meter kung ano yung value nito sa taas kasi isang ikot lang yan so that is what we call uh, 10 kilonewton meter also okay next is dito naman tayo so we have 10 i-multiply lang natin ng 2 meter so we have 20 kilonewton meter sabi ko kanina isang rotation lang yan hanggang dito sa baba so that is still 20 kilonewton meter next we have 5 times 2 is 10 kilonewton meter and 10 kilonewton meter. Okay, next, tapos na tayo sa column moment. Third step is girder moment tayo. Dito kasi, ang approximate natin dito is kung anong rotation nito, yun din yung gagawin natin na value dito. So, dito clockwise naman. Okay, clockwise. Lagay natin yung blue para mas makita. Ano po? Ayan. Para alam natin na, yan, sa so, girder na siya. Next, paano yung value nito? Yung value nito, same lang siya sa value ng 10 kilonewton meter natin. Or, 
value ng column moment natin. So, we have 10 kilonewton meter. Sabi ko, isang rotation lang yan. So, still, this is 10 kilonewton meter. Lalagyan nyo siya ng unit lagi. Ano po? Okay, ito naman. We have, paano naman ito? Eh, isang horizontal at isang vertical. Tandaan nyo lagi ito. Okay? If this is your 10 kilonewton meter, at ito naman ay 20 kilonewton meter, kapag nagbago yung direction yan, or magkaiba sila ng rotation, or sabihin na natin, isa ay horizontal at isa naman ay vertical, isusubtract nyo lagi ito. So, ibig sabihin, 20 minus 10 is 10 kilonewton meter. Paano naman kapag diretso yan, tapos ito yun? So, ito, syempre, lagi may value yan kasi column yan, ba? So, paano yung gagawin natin dito? Okay. So, dito kasi, given yung lagi itong column moment natin, ang hahanapin naman ay girder moment. So, all you have to do is plus. Bakit? Kasi pareha silang vertical. And kung ano yung addition nito, okay, kung ano yung sum nito, yun ang ilalagay natin as your moment here. Unlike dito, isang horizontal, isang vertical, ipag-minus nyo na lang yung dalawa. Nagkakaintindihan. How about naman kapag ganito? Kasi syempre, ito given, given, Ito, ito yun, isang rotation, so given na. So, ito naman yung unknown. Ayan, lagay natin yung unknown. Ito. Paano yung unknown? All you have to do, sabi ko kanina, i-add yung dalawang nasa vertical, which is itong column moment, i-minus nyo itong girder moment natin. Or plus, and then subtract. So, this is your sum para dyan. Or, ito yung value na makukuha nyo kapag pinag-add nyo to and then subtract yan. Nagkakaintindihan po. So, this is 20 minus 10 is 10 kilonewton meter. And also, this is 10 kilonewton meter. Okay, next example naman natin is two-story building. Ah, meron pa pala. We have here, gear there. Ayun. Mo, um, share naman kasi step number 4 pa pala. So, madali lang yung step number 4. Ang gagawin nyo lang kasi, 10 plus 10, 20. Divided by nyo ng 4, so that is 5 kilonewton. So, lagay natin, 5 kilonewton. Ayun, ito na lang. So, we have 5 kilonewton. Next, paano naman ito? Hindi ito 5. Ano, maliban na lang kapag parehas ng values. So, naswertehan lang natin kasi na parehas ng values sila. At saka, parehas ng distance. So, 10 plus 10, 20, divided by 4, is 5 kilonewton. Ano po? Okay, so next is yung 2-story na tayo. 